Yo! FNS Hobby is back with another video today. Today we're going to check out the Score a Treat 2024 football product. I mean, these are cool. They're cheap. It's a cheap rip. 40, 40 packs per bundle here. Three cards per pack. It's the first look at 2024 products, so we'll get to see some of the, the, the new fellows who came out of the draft. And like I said, it's, 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 a, it's a cheap rip, huh? This, this, this thing was like 22 bucks. If you ask me, it's, it's, I would guess that it's uh, probably meant for like, let me just chuck this bag up here like that. It's probably, it's probably meant for people to buy for Halloween and uh, give out to kids instead of candy is my guess. Because realistically, if you do the math, it's like, I don't know, 50 cents a pack. Some cool stuff about this, though. You can definitely get some numbered cards out of here. So first cards, uh, Vinny Testaverde pumpkins, I guess you would call it. Mitchell and Peyton Manning. But wait, they have like old cards. Yeah, so there's gonna be some vets in here too. But there's gonna be a lot of the like we're, we're obviously looking for a, a Malik Neighbors card, Giant, Giants wide receiver. Um, and you can get some number cards out of here, and I forget what they're called. I think they're called like uh, but, trick or treat parallel but, or something like, like that. It's hard to tell. Like, oh, like like say we got Caleb Williams. Like you don't know how like that he's gonna do or not. Yeah, that's true. I I, for, I think I've heard that Marcus Allen, Cooper DeJean, he's a rookie picked up by the Eagles. Doug Williams. Um, what are you saying? Well, I think I've. Um, I just lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Yeah, I think I was. I forgot what I was saying, son, to be honest with you. About how I said, um, that the new players that, like, you don't know if they're good or not. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you, you never know, dude. You, you gotta see how you play. I mean, everyone has, there's plenty of players that have high hopes coming out. But then some. Here's a verse. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of players that have high hopes coming out, but then again, you guys see how you play. I mean, like, yeah. like if you watch like some games, like Malik Neighbors playing in that. Like, like, season. like, put it this way. Put it this way. Look at the history of first round quarterbacks for the last like ten years and how well some of them have done. <laughs> You'd find out that it's a gamble. Here's a good one: Jaden Daniels and Champ Bailey. And uh, yeah, what's cool about um, I'll t actually I'll tell, you, I'll tell you I'll tell you a little bit what's cool about I these rooms. I saw something on like a short on YouTube that um, Jane Daniels, Jane Daniels made like a really good pass to someone. Yeah, I think he's having a I think he's having a uh, here's another Mechie. Um, here's a Leggett who got picked up by Carolina, and a Kincaid. Um, yeah, I heard he's I heard he's having a, a pretty good uh, training camp. I heard Jaden Daniels is doing pretty well. Yeah, he is. I've seen a couple of him like really good. Yeah, that's a good thing. I guess. Laporta. Michael Penix. And a chain. I'm, I'm, st I'm still confused about how the Falcons pick Michael Penix. He, he, once again, it, he might work out, dude. Yeah, but they already have Kirk Cousins. Yeah, but he he's he's getting up there in age, bro. He's getting up there in age. And he also ended his last season getting hurt, so who's to say he might not get hurt again? It's not a bad backup plan. It was a gamble for them. We'll see if it pays off. Polk. Miles Garrett. We got a couple more of these. Uh, we'll open up for around during Halloween. I think that'll be a little more fun at that time, right, son? Mm -hmm. It's a long time from now, like two months. That's a good, that's a I'm not, that's not a bad one too. This guy this guy might be a good one. We'll see though. We'll see. But yeah, for the money, I mean, how could you how could you not like these? It's it's a fun little rip. It's a first look at some some new players that come out of the draft this year. I'd take these for, 
You would take these over a piece of candy for Halloween? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Brian Thomas Jr. And Tony Baselli. I like candy, too. But Yeah, we know you like candy, too. That's all good, son. I'm going to have to have Reese's. I'm going to have the package. <laughs> Ricky. That's not a bad one. See how that kid does when he comes out. San Fran picked him up. Hopefully Purdy has him in good hands. Hopefully. Wesley Walls, that's old school. Another Keon Coleman. Might be uh Josh Allen's new favorite target. What about Stephen Dix? You got traded, bro. What, he did? You don't know? Come on. You don't know this? You should know this. Who did he get traded to? You don't know? The Texans, bro. Oh, yeah. Right. New target for CJ Stroud. Yeah, bro. Adrian Peterson. There's a little old school. Bell. Don't know much about him. And a Dak. I remember. I was, th I was thinking of, like, the Houston Texans. I think it was right now. I was like, wait. Is that traded? I don't think so. Hooper, Troy Franklin, no offense. Spencer Rattler picked up by the Saints. See how he does. A natron means, and that's old school right there. I mean that that was a big loss for the for the Bills that they lost to the Yeah, we'll see, man. They might still be all right. They still they. I mean, he's a good player, but <laughs> Stephon Diggs is. I don't know. He seems like he's underrated. Though. He seems he seems like kind of trouble to me. What do you mean? Like he's always I don't know. Just play football. You know what I'm saying? Like he seems like he's always got a mouth going on. Bo Nix. Bo Nix is having a good preseason so far. Chad Ochocinco Johnson. Oh, you, you, All right, hold on. I'm trying to get the stage lined up with some of these greens. You, you know, um, what's his name? Um, that Vikings picks, picked from the draft. Peyton. What? Bucky Irving, huh? I said what? I can put my junior. The Vikings back in the draft room. What's his name? The quarterback. Who, last year? Jaron Hall? This year. Oh, this year? Oh, J.J. McCarthy. Yeah, J.J. McCarthy. He got hurt. Yeah, he got hurt. Yeah, dude. He's not playing. Done for the year. Hurt his name. I thought it was... I, th I thought he hurt... He hurt... A he ben, right by the Achilles. A Brendan Rice. You know who this kid is, son? No. This is Jerry Rice's son. You know who Jerry Rice is, right? Yeah. Okay, that's Jerry Rice's son. Right over there. Yeah, we got two downtown Jerry Rice's. That's his son right there. That's crazy. Right? Who did he get picked by? Keekly. Uh, I was hoping the Giants would got him. Jet scooped him up. Braylon Allen. Uh, he got picked up by the Chargers. Justin Herbert. Wait, I forgot That's a nice little that. color match. All right, let's try something real quick, dude. Let's try something. Ready? Let's cut the lights and see if this works because these green cards are supposed to be glow in the dark. Uh, Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but these are supposed to be glow in the dark. That didn't work. Mitchell again. Tua. And I'm pretty sure the green ones are supposed to be glowing in the dark. But that was what we can get in here, yeah. Still a lot more to Yeah, dude. Like I said, 40 packs, bro. Yeah, I, I even told you, I was like, this would be maybe long. Yeah, I was going to think about maybe opening up two of these bad boys. But. Brooks got picked up by Carolina. Boomer. 
But to open up, I mean, you're opening up 80 packs. I guess that will save some for actually around Halloween. Tyreek. I'm disappointed that that didn't work. I, I am too. It's supposed to be these are glow in the dark. Maybe you have to give him more time. Maybe it went too quick. Maybe I had to like fly. Uh, I don't know, dude. Maybe I had to like fly. We'll try it. We'll try after. We'll... Maybe it's just the orange cards. Well, I don't think so, dude. We'll try. We'll, we'll figure it out after the video. I'm not going to cut the lights out on everyone. That's who's watching again. <laughs> They're already laughing at me. Because like, we already knew that. You're messing up the video. Oh, uh, here we go, dude. There's our guy, man. Yay. Got him on League Neighbors. Hopefully he does good this year, because that's like... Well, he's, he's he's about to be all the Giants got on offense. <laughs> Pretty much. They, we didn't pick like one of the offensive players, like the real ones. What are you talking about? Like, they need, like, real offense. Hey, listen, we got, like we, we got what we got, son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dude? We got what we got. They're not best at all, man. Oh, yeah, he's... He, I'm... He's a... He, nature, I mean... Kool-Aid. Giants wanted Kool-Aid. He got scooped up. Man. The Saints. Oh, oh yeah. I remember that. You know, when we were watching the draft, I was like, oh, it's Kool-Aid. Roman Wilson. No inserts sighting. Here's a JJ. This one actually looks somewhat decently centered. But yeah, it's a, it's a fun little opening. I like how like, the helmets look that, like they have. Honestly, if I would do this, I would I would like purposely like peek at every helmet and be like, "Oh, we got." The Calakai Corey is. I think he might be another one to watch. Gibbs. There go. Like if it's like Chiefs or like Giants, I'd be happy if Giants like back in a full of Giants. I would like that. Wait, yeah, Malik, Malik, Malik neighbors is gonna be like the Giants' offense, basically. <laughs> Milton, it's a cool one. Um. But yeah, he, he, I mean, throughout, at least throughout training camp and some of the catches he's been making, he looks like he could be special. Like one of the best receivers in the league. But I don't want to talk too much about that because you got to let the kid play first. He looks like. He looks like he could be good, man. Well, yeah, well, so with all these rookies in here, uh, I'm pretty sure I heard people say, like, there's no Caleb Williams spottings in these things. Yeah, that's what I was like. I was like, Dallas Turner. Jordan Addison. All right, we're getting toward the bottom now, kind of. Oh, we haven't pulled with Caleb Williams. Yeah, like I said, I don't know. If, I don't think he's in this, dude. It's probably everybody else but him. I haven't seen a Drake May yet. Dion. We got prime. Oh, here's Marvin Harrison Jr. Everybody's got to be. Here's your boy. Here's your boy, Diggs. Every, like every college player has got to be in here, right? Nah, dude. Like I said, I heard there's no Caleb sightings. Yeah, but it just means somebody's going to just not pull it yet. Uh, I doubt it. I mean, you probably Trey Benson. It's another guy that G-Men were taking a peek at. He's supposed what? to be good. Signed for Cardinals. Um, say what? You could probably what? I don't know. <laughs> You're up. I'm sure he would have been pulled. I'm sure he would have been pulled already, son. Considering these things got 40 packs piece in them and plenty of people have opened them. Sterling Shepard. I'll look it up like I'll be like, somebody pulling Caleb Williams out of whatever. Score a treat. It's like a score product. 
Usually, usually out of the 2024 football products, usually score is the first one to come out. But this is this isn't like score football. This is just like Dex. This is just like a little, like I said, it's like a cheap a cheap opening. Like I said, my thought process is it's probably meant for people to buy these and hand them out to trick or treaters instead of candy, because there's 40 packs in here. You only get three cards. And the, the thing was only 22 bucks, son. Vlad McConkey. So. Because there's some people out there that just don't like giving out candy. You, you didn't have to deal with that when you were a kid. I used to get, like, pennies from people and... <clears throat> Did you like getting pennies? Like, like pencils. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, the pennies are bad, but the pencils... Like, all kinds of weird stuff like that, where people just, or like, you know, like a... You never got, like, one piece of candy? Like a, like a plastic bat ring? No, of course I got candy, but I'm just saying there's just some houses out there or people that would be giving out candy that don't want to continue the poisoning of the children. <laughs> Candy's not good for you, son. So they they are, so these people know that you're all these people know that you're already gonna be getting a ton of candy so they try to give out other things. Yeah, but you, yeah, yeah, but you know you're getting candy for a week. This kid's gonna be a good one. Jalen Wright signed with the Miami Dolphins who really don't need running back help so it's kind of confusing. But I guess you can never have enough of something. All right, two packs left. We're getting down. We're getting down to the needy gooey. What do you think? You like this stuff, son? Uh huh worthy for the chiefs so you know we've gotten a ton of cards last pack of the video we did not get one of the numbered cards which is one of the trick-or-treat cards you would know if we got it because these are just bats pumpkins and then the trick-or-treat cards have like uh, you have to look one up online to see it because we obviously didn't pull one pratt and a retired darren waller to end us but, you know, we, we got our guy. So that's cool. We got a neighbors. Wait, they're all reti retired? Yeah, dude. Oh, we did? Yeah, man. So, uh, we, we got a Marvin. We got some of the top quarterbacks. Was that, was that like soon that he retired? Like. Yeah, yeah, he just retired. He decided to uh, have a rap career instead. And he's not a good rapper, so good luck to him. Baja. Anyways. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's what we got for this one. And we hope to check you on the next one. Later! Later.